Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Darwin. How are you? Hello, fine. Hello, teacher. Great. Hey, Darwin. Hi, teacher. Hello, how was your day? My day is great. And your day? It was good too. What did you do today? In this day, uh, a great job or my boss don't work. Your boss didn't work. Didn't work. I'm sorry, your boss didn't work today? Yes. He, he worked. I'm not getting it. I'm sorry. So you, you went to work. Did you go to work? Yes. Okay. And your boss? My boss don't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. Oh, so that's... On my, on that's... Uh-huh. Oh, my co-workers is very happy. My coworkers were very happy. Okay. Yeah. So no, no boss. You're free. Okay. You're free. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay. Let's wait for the others. Okay. I know some of you are coming back from work. Today is Monday. Okay. Be careful if you're driving, please. Be careful. Um, okay, she's just coming home. Okay, so how's things going? How are things going? How are things going? Michi, how was your day today? Good? It was, yes, it was a little bit quiet. Tranquil. Quiet. Okay, tranquil, tranquil. Yes, tra tranquil. Yeah, why? I don't know, but it was busy <laughs> these days. Okay, not too many things to do. Yeah. Only okay. check emails and check another some thing. gossip. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, Mayra. What about you? How was your day? Well, my day was quiet. In the morning, I went to the office, but in the afternoon, I worked from home. Oh, I guess it's the weather, right? Yes. It's the weather. Yes. It was but really cold. Yeah, I like the weather. Was yes. It, uh, when it was cold. When, yeah, when it is cold, it's, it's awesome. Hi, Sulma. How are you? Hello, Angu. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. How was your day today? tired i'm tired okay you you had a difficult day because darwin michelle and Mayra said you know it was an easy day it was an easy day no mm. boss no boss not much work to do but you had uh, you had a difficult day yes for me um monday is uh more difficult day because uh, normally Monday have meeting in the morning. Mondays I have meeting. Uh -huh. yeah. Meetings in the morning. Okay. Every, mon every Monday. Every Monday. Yes. Okay. What do you do in the meetings? What do you do in the meetings?
Okay, she got frozen. <laughs> and I oh. have to. You have to? To plan? Okay, yeah, we lost her. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's start checking your attendance. Please say here if you're here. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Here. Angela de Jesús Santa María. Okay, Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present teacher, good evening. Hi, good evening. Darwin Edgardo Ayala Leiva. Present teacher. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Present teacher. Excellent. Flor de María Carvalho Garte. Present. Okay. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. No here, teacher. Not here. <laughs> Okay, Giovanni Alexander Mejiva Rivera. Giovanni, Giovanni, no. Oh my God. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank Good you. Evening. Good evening. María Estela Varela Velázquez. Present, teacher. Good, Good evening. Good evening. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ophelia Orellana Arce. Present here, teacher. Yes. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present, teacher. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here, teacher. Thank you. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Hmm. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Sandra. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. What the? Yancy Lisbeth. She was there. Okay. Ros Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Excellent. Fidel, Fidel Coreas Pascual. Fidel Coreas Pascual. Not yet. Okay. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Adriana Stephanie. No. Okay. Margarita Stephanie um, Lengibar Contreras. Thank you. Okay. So we're missing Giovanni, who may be in Germany still. Se ha acercado a vivir en Germany. Este hombre es seguro, ¿eh? Good for him. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Angela. Welcome. Thank you. No podía entrar. Yes. No había internet. Okay, so we're just missing Fidel, Adriana, and Giovanni. Okay. Let's start. So, you have a mission right now. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> what was the last topic? Do you remember the last topic? What was our last grammar topic? Where were we? Where were we? We're talking about uh, uh, the past of the verb to be, to be. Mm -hmm. oh. <gasps> the simple, I, I forget. Okay. Yes. Forget. Yes, we yes, did. We, yes. we saw it. Uh huh. Well, the last topic that I remember is uh, we are we were talking about words to mean satisfaction and dissatisfaction about Satis the satisfaction and dissatisfaction. Okay. And dissatisfaction. That's that I remember. That's what you remember. It's okay. Yeah. What else? What else, guys? Carla. What is the last topic that you remember? Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Okay. Simple past. Questions, right? Questions. Yeah, information. Yeah. 
information, information question and short answers. Can you help me? What was the structure? I don't remember. What was the structure for information questions? The W, can you say the W? Okay, WH uh -huh. word. Uh huh. And plus then? dear. Mm -hmm. Plus subject. Mm -hmm. Plus there. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Base four. Uh huh. Base four. Right. And then? Complex. Okay, good. Don't forget the question mark. So, can you give me an example? What did you do on weekend? Excellent. What did you do on the weekend? Okay. Can somebody start reading? Someone who doesn't talk much. Someone who doesn't talk much. Thank you. Okay, Flor. Okay. ¿Qué tengo que hacer? <laughs> read, read the answer. So what, what did you do on the weekend? What did you do in the weekend? Okay. Last weekend, I woke, woke up six fifteen uh, a.m. and had a cup of coffee, and then I took my dog for a quick walk, as I had to shower and get get ready. To work. I worked from 7 a.m. to 12 and 12 noon, and then I had lunch with my family and shortly watched a movie, and then I work it again from 2.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. I went to bed really tired. No, it's very good. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Floor. Okay, so remember, you say walk. <coughs> walk. Walk. Walk, walk, walk. walk. Uh -huh. Very good. You say 30, 30, 230, 230. 230. Mm -hmm. 230. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Someone else to give it a try? Maria Stella? Yes, teacher. I cannot see your face. Wow. Where's your beautiful face? I cannot see it. Show me your face. Maria Stella. Yes. <laughs> okay, can you read? Okay. Last weekend, I woke up at 6.50 a.m. and had a cup of coffee. And then I took my dog for a quick walk. 
as I have to shower and get ready to work. I work from 7 a.m. to 12 noon. And then I have lunch with my family and surely wash it and movie. And then I work, work again from 2.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. I went to bed really tired. On Sunday, I work in the morning and rest the rest of the day. Wait, sorry. And rested, Wait. rested, rested the day rested. of the rested the rest of the day and rested the rest of the day. Okay, so this is how you answer a question in the past. This is an open question, um, not a yes or no question. Mm -hmm. So now out of this example, can you make me close questions? What questions can you ask me for me to say, yes, I did, no, I didn't think? Um, uh, where, where you, no. where be, mm -hmm. where be him, where did you fly next week? No, no, no. Okay. Out of this answer, out of this answer that I gave you, can you make me some questions? De esta respuesta que les he dado, de esa pregunta, ¿puedes hacer más preguntas? Sí. Yes. Acordate que lo normal cuando haces una conversación normal, natural, en el español incluso, escuchas a la persona que te dice qué es lo que hizo, ¿no? Y pues te da curiosidad, ¿no? Así como, ok, ¿y a qué hora te bañas en la mañana? Eh? Ok, por ejemplo, <ríe> no sé, ¿qué comiste? ¿Ya? Uh, when when time you you work with with his dog. At what time did you walk the dog? What time did you walk the dog? What? Yeah. What uh, time did you yeah. Walk? At 6.20, 6.20 a.m. But, but you say a close question. Yeah, okay. let's try it. Okay. okay. Why, why, teacher, why did you work on weekend? Why did you work on the weekend? Oh, I because I always work on weekends. I always work yeah, on weekends. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday, yes. Which Sorry? Did you have did you have a good breakfast? Did you have a good breakfast? I don't have breakfast. I usually don't have breakfast. So I didn't. I didn't. Uh, uh, I don't have breakfast. It's the most important. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> or someone sitting all day. No. <laughs> it's not important. Okay. Which which movie do you watch? Oh, uh, we saw again. We saw again. Um, Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> okay, thank. You. But not completely, as you can see. Shortly watched a movie. Shortly, just for a moment. One second. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh huh. What can you ask me about the movie? Did you enjoy the movie? Yes. Did you enjoy the movie? Did you like it? I love Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> yes. It's crazy. <laughs> blah blah blah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, more questions. Make me more. Did questions. you get a lot of calls? Did you get a lot of calls in the call center? Ah, yes. Right now, it's it's crazy. Well, actually, actually, no. 
No, um, I had a lot of calls between um, 2.30 p.m. and 5 p.m. And then no calls. So I started preparing more classes, you know, on the other computer while taking the calls. It's crazy. Did you work uh, all, all weekend? Did you work? Did you work you all weekend? The whole weekend, yes, I did. Hmm. Okay, one more question. Where did you go on Sunday in the morning? Where did you go on Sunday? In the morning. Oh, I, I worked. I worked in the morning. What did you what did you do and rest the of day? The rest of the day on Sunday, yesterday, what did I do? What did you do the rest what of the day? Um I took a long shower, I had lunch, and I went to my hammock and play play Nintendo with my kids. What you may for later or afternoon? What you may again again? On afternoon or for afternoon? In the afternoon? In the afternoon? What you may? What 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 did you do? What did uh, what did you do? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. okay, or on Sunday afternoon. On Sunday afternoon. Okay, what did you do in the afternoon? On Sunday, okay. what did you do on Sunday afternoon? Uh, on Sunday afternoon, I rested. What do you mean? No, what do you mean? No, 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 Made, made. Mm. Oh, good point. Sí, mm. buen punto. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre made y did? Ok. Decíamos que es muy similar, ¿no? Esto es make. Y esto es do. Sin embargo, make involucra un proceso de convertir una cosa en otra. Ya sea, incluso el esfuerzo físico se puede convertir en otra cosa que me da una recompensa. O sea, Dinero. Ah, ok. Entonces, what do you do? Ajá. Acciones, voy a ocupar do, did. Very good. Buena, buena esa. Sí, hay que tener claro eso. Ajá. Como si quisiese decir, hiciste un pastel, ¿cómo lo haría entonces, Sandra? What do me put? Ah, no. Es, a ver, es una oración en positivo. Hiciste un pastel. Ah, ah no, pregunta, deja, ¿verdad? Sí, hiciste un pastel. Hiciste un pastel. Es pregunta cerrada. Yes or no? What is? Sin el what, empezaría so con did, el auxiliar. Did you, did you, Ajá. Did you uh, make? Did you make to, uh, did you make to, Así. Okay, mm. uh, okay, okay, nada más. Sí, did you make a cake? Make Hiciste cake? un pastel? Okay. Hiciste un pastel. Okay. okay. Questions, alguien más, preguntas. Did, did you did you know resting one day in the week? Um, did you rest another day in the week? Descansaste otro día en la semana? Did you rest another day in the week? Or oh, you know how one day of resting in the week? Yes, I no, I don't rest another day in the week. I don't rest another day on the week. Right now, I rest. I rest from 12.30 to 7 p.m., let's say. Actualmente oh. descanso entre las dos y media y las 7 p.m., digamos. Porque no tengo una clase que usualmente tengo de, de dos a cinco. So, yeah. But maybe, maybe Osmin right. want to know that if you have a free day, Another, yeah, so it's what I was asking. Did you have, uh, did you have another day off during the week? Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Tuviste otro día libre durante la semana? Uh, 
Okay. Durante la semana, during the week. Okay. Yeah? No. I didn't. Excellent. Now is your turn. Ahora es su, su momento, ¿ok? Vamos a trabajar en tríos y vamos a llevar a cabo este ejercicio. Lo mismo. Vamos a hacer una pregunta con pasado abierta. Y para formular una conversación con sus compañeros, dejen lo que diga lo que hizo en pasado o a dónde fue. Si preguntan, where did you go on vacations? A dónde fuiste en vacaciones, por ejemplo. Um, what did you do last Christmas? ¿Qué hiciste en las... Um, um, ¿Qué es? Navidad. Navidad, thank you. Oh, gringo, oh, my God, I'm sorry. ¿Qué hiciste la Navidad pasada? Ok, think, be creative, sean creativos, traten de contestar lo mejor que puedan o lo más que puedan. Y en base a eso tú le preguntas, for example, if I tell you last Christmas, um, I baked, I baked pork. I baked a pork. What would be the logical question? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta lógica ahí? Si te digo, I baked a pork. Yo horneo un cerdo. What did you cook? Ah, pero te estoy diciendo, ajá, te estoy diciendo qué hice. Ya te dije que hice un cerdo, entonces ya hice un puerco. ¿Cómo lo hizo? Ah, did you cook it? Así, did you cook it? Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Podemos ocupar el verbo todavía en pasado ya. Yeah? Of course. Was it delicious? Did you burn it? Lo quemaste? Did you burn it? <laughs> right. Okay. Be creative. Okay. So, questions, preguntas acerca de la actividad. Yes. No. Remember, acuérdense que las cerradas son yes, las yes or no questions. Empiece con el auxiliar, luego el sujeto, el verbo en su forma base. Si es una pregunta abierta, una pregunta informativa, voy a empezar con la WH. Y aquí como está la estructura. Ahorita se los envío el WhatsApp. You only have 15 minutes to work on this activity. Solo tienen 15 minutos tra para trabajar en esta actividad. Ayúdense entre sí en el grupo, porfa. Y seamos muy creativos, ¿ok? What did you eat? On Sunday. Okay. What did you eat on Sunday, Melanie? Very good. At what time did you did you rest? I said, yeah, Melanie. Did you rest? Very good. Okay. Let's go. Acuérdense que pueden compartir su pantalla también. Vamos a colaborar todos, okay? Eh, sí, por favor, que nadie se quede en este salón porque entonces es más pequeño el grupo en el que los estoy dividiendo. Ok, let's go. Excellent. Gloria, um, Rafael. <laughs> Usted es el hombre bendito entre todas las mujeres, mire. <risa> ok, hagamos la conversación. So, comenzamos, a, bueno, se trata más que todo de hablar, ¿verdad? Entonces, háganse preguntas abiertas. ¿sí? Ah. Le puedes hacer una pregunta abierta diferente a alguien más, y, pero el punto es que te contesten. Ok. <risa> Good. Bien, eh, si lo quieren escribir, vayan a escribir, está bien, pero es probable que le toque a uno de tus compañeros hacerte la pregunta de nuevo y ya cuando estamos todos juntos, ¿ya? Ok. Ok. Pensé que era una 
ocasión que íbamos a... Sí, a... claro, o sea, por ejemplo, Pero... Rafael puede preguntarle, Gloria, uh, what did you do yesterday? Sunday. Okay. Right? Y Gloria tiene que decir, okay, I, I woke up late. Okay. Okay. I went... Uh, okay. Um, sure? Yes. Usted le puede preguntar a alguien más otra pregunta y esa pregunta tiene que ser respuesta. Ahora, el chiste es para mantener una conversación, y esto es muy importante, que una vez se haya contestado tu compañero o compañera, tú le saques más información. So, si me dice, Lorita, I woke up late yesterday, y yo le puedo preguntar, ¿Did you take a shower? Sunday, o sea, usualmente uno ni se baña a veces el domingo, ya sabía bien tarde para dormir rico. Right? So, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. And the winner of the game. And you, Michi? Mm, well, in my case, <laughs> I spent the weekend watching series on Netflix. <laughs> what a yeah. life, what a life. <laughs> yeah. Vida para ser eterna. Okay, uh-huh. Yes. What, hey, mm -hmm. come on. What questions can you make to Michelle? Esa es una buena pregunta. Okay. El punto de ese ejercicio es que tú mantengas una conversación, que no hayan gaps de silencio, que no hayan espacios de silencio. So, dice Michelle, I spend the weekend watching Netflix series. What series? What? What series did you watch? Ahí me voy de regreso a la gramática, veo cómo estaba la estructura de la pregunta. Ah, ok, what series? Did you watch? Okay, I watched. Um, I watched. I know, me cuesta. Pero lo hiciste uh, muy bien, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lucifer, um, Looping. Looping. Uh, yes, it's a good series. Really, Looping, Looping. Yes. It's about Arsène Lupin. Parlez vous français? Yes. No. <laughs> okay. But I try it. I try it. Okay. I'll so, take notes. Yes, it's a, it's a good series. And um, I saw. Um, Carla, Ophelia, some... Yancy, make more questions to <laughs> Michelle. Did you like Lucifer? Oh, of course. <laughs> Not the actor, the series. The series, of course, the series. <laughs> okay, uh -huh, keep going. <laughs> Lupin. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Only, the series has only 10... Chapters? Chapters, yes. But it's a good series. Okay. I recommend it. Good. I'll check it. Uh-huh. Did you get up on uh, Sunday? Did you get up late? Darwin? Mm -hmm. Did you get up late? Did you get up late? No, <laughs> I wake, wait, woke, woke, up. Up, woke up. I woke up at 8 a.m. <laughs> Early bird. Yes. <laughs> um, Only si no, two. two yes, please. Make okay. a question to someone else. Okay. ¿Por qué les estoy forzando a que hablen? Porque dentro de un momento les voy a poner enfrente de toda la clase a elegir a alguien. Esa, per esa persona le va a hacer la pregunta que le hizo a esa misma persona de su grupo. Right? Ok. Ok. okay. Continue. All the day you were at home, yes? 
the whole day? You were at the whole day. Were you at home the whole day? Were you at home the whole day? Were you at home the whole day? The whole day. Uh, uh, yeah, one day in my in, in my in my house. Uh, one day in my work. Okay. Okay. And you, uh, and you, Rosalena, <gasps> me, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, what, 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 what did you want to know? <laughs> what did you want to know? Aha, uh -huh. que hice cuando? Um, um, uh, uh, weekend. In on weekend, week. mm -hmm. on Saturday, um, I wake wake up at walk walk woke up. I woke up at seven a.m. I clean the house, and at noon I go went out. I went out with my daughter. Uh, we. We went to galerias. He went to the movies, and I, I wait. wait. She she went to the movies. Yeah, she went to the movie, and I wait for her. Waited for her. Waited. I waited for her. And all this, mom, all this. Uh, all that time. All that time. All that time. I was. What watching? Well, no, all the time I watched a movie on my phone. Mm -hmm. I watch Rocket Man. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> yes, I love Elton it. John. <laughs> yes, I love yeah, it. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> yes, I have two hours in that place. I take, uh, I took. take, I took, I took, no, I ate. I, I had the, I had the lunch. I had lunch. I had lunch. Mm -hmm. I had lunch and I I was wait waiting. Waiting. Perfect. Waiting. Yeah, I was for waiting her. for for her. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Uh, what you? questions ahora? Este es el punto de este ejercicio. ¿Cómo armas una conversación de todo lo que dijo Rosalena? Pues ¿Qué pregunta lógica te surge? Y ya dijo que película, ¿no? Aún así podría ser una pregunta. Rocketman, Elton John. Ok. Uh -huh. Did you... Did you... Did you like it? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Turn on the microphone, uh, Patricia. <laughs> Did you like it? Did you like it for day? Did you like Sunday? it? For no. day Sunday. O sea, okay. Sea, Como habló bastante y explicó que vio una película, que almorzó, ¿verdad? esperando a su hija. Ok. So, pregunta lógica. Dijo que vio Elton John a Rocketman mientras comía. Ok. So, primera pregunta. Did you like the movie? Mm -hmm. Ok. Yes. Yes, I did. So, la comida que podría preguntar Edwin, Osmin, Nelson, Patricia. I like the lunch. <laughs> I, I like the lunch. Uh, you eat. Okay. What did you have for lunch? What? Veamos la estructura. Ya está la estructura en el WhatsApp. What did you eat? What did you eat? What did what did you eat? eat. Oh, I one? ate. Okay, I ate. I ate. I ate the um, the the favorite uh, food of the teacher. <laughs> liver? <laughs> no. <laughs> chicken liver. Chicken liver. No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> no, I, I I ate. Uh, 
hamburger. hamburger. Oh my God, hamburger, <laughs> hamburger. Yeah, I, I, okay. got, I got a Big Mac. <laughs> okay, I got a Big Mac. That's a yeah. good, that's good. I learned so much watching the movie teacher. Oh, there is a, a vocabulary. A lot the of vocabulary. Song, yeah, a lot of vocabulary. The songs have a lot of vocabulary. Yeah, on Rocket Man, they do. Yeah. Uh, that's British. Well, that's yeah. British. Yeah, that's British. Yes, that's British. And you, I mean, what did you do? Okay. On weekend, I, I, I work. Only. <laughs> <laughs> You say oh, that's God. it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Sí, era el chambrerío que tenía, ¿me no viene el dicho? Mhm. Finish. No, come on. Mhm. Mm Are you sure? ¿Estás segura? Are you sure? ¿Estás segura? Porque igual puede que una de ustedes salga elegida en el sorteo ahorita que volvamos y y le va a tocar hacerle la misma pregunta, la misma pregunta a su compañera. A ver, ¿qué preguntas se hicieron? ¿Cuál dijo tú? Este, eh, ¿Cómo dijimos? Last holidays. Last, Last holidays. holidays. Pero era holidays. Pero era fin de año, teacher. Last year, last uh, New Year's Eve. ¿Qué hiciste el último fin de año? What did, what did you do last New Year's Eve? Uh, Eve okay. al final. Last. Eve. Okay. <laughs> what was the answer? ¿Cuál fue la respuesta? In December 42, uh, four. I I have uh, this uh, uh, visited family, family the... in a Washington. Mm -hmm. ah, yes, uh -huh. I so had not... work in the morning on uh -huh. thirty one on uh, December thirty first. Yes, at uh, 1 p.m. I I went to um, visit my family and at night uh, we had dinner in my house. Okay. Wait, este era el ejercicio. Okay, you, uh, so you worked on the 31st. Uh, did you work on January 1st? Zulma? No, I didn't. No. Okay. I didn't. Where did you go to visit your family? Where did you go to visit your family? Um, I visit my family in Aguachapan. In Aguachapan. They live there. Oh, excellent. Okay. Did you cook the dinner? Uh, I helped. Excellent. I helped. Oh, I helped. I helped. Again, Sandra? No entendí la palabra. I helped. I helped. Help. Ah. I helped. I helped. Remember, we're in past. I helped. I helped. Uh -huh. Creo que vimos esto de la pronunciación de los ID endings el jueves o el viernes, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan los tres sonidos de ID endings? Uh, ok. El módulo pasado. El módulo pasado lo vimos, ajá, pero este módulo que estamos viendo bastante pasado. No recuerdo haberlo reinforzado, pero igual. Ok, so let's go back. Thank you, teacher. Aún tienen un minuto si quieren seguir hablando. Ok. <laughs>
Can you give me a number between one and twenty? Three. One and twenty-three. Ten. Ten, my favorite number. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Where's Carlita? Hello, Carla. Hello, good evening. Hi, can you do me a favor and make the question to one of your classmates? So the question you practiced to the same person of your group who answered. Okay. Uh, in our group talk about our last vacation and my uh, classmate to, uh, talk how was enjoy her in his vacation. Okay. And for example, and then... Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Just say the name and make the question. What did you do on last vacations? Say the name of the person. For example, Rafael, what did you do last vacation? Go, Carla. Oh, I went, I went. Wait, 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 Rafael. Ok, okay. okay. Ah, estaba sorry. dando un ejemplo. Necesito que le hagan la pregunta a la misma persona que se le hicieron en el grupo o a okay. uno de sus compañeros en el grupo. Si sí, lo que hicieron fue agarrar una pregunta y todos contestarla, que la idea era que de la respuesta que era su compañero hacer más preguntas cerradas o abiertas, uh -huh. o sea, uh -huh. seguir escarbando, ese es el punto ahorita y lo vamos a estar haciendo enseguido so, ok, Carla ok Michelle, what did what did you what did you do in your last vacation? ok in my last vacation I visit um museums and historic places i don't know uh -huh. yes yeah. for example um when i traveled to paris i visit um the louvre uh, museum i visit uh, the chateau of versailles and when I visit Rome, I go, I went, I think, I went to Coliseo Romano. And I went to, ah, Vaticano, the Vatican. Yes. Interesting. How did you, many days did you take for your last vacation? How many days oh, did, you take? did you take on your last vacation? Um, it was for um, like third, no, 13, 13 no. days. 13 days, uh -huh. yes, it was 13 days, yes. Okay, in your flight, how many hours uh, did you take to El Salvador, Italy, or France? I don't know what your fear stopped. 
Oh, well, the travel. Um, sorry, I don't understand. I don't get it. How many hours did your flight last? How oh. many hours did your flight last? Oh, my flight lasted uh, like 12, 12 hours. Yes. With a stop. Okay, the next question was, did you make any stop? Mm, yes, I, I, I make. I stopped. Ah, I stopped in Spain. Okay. Yes. Good. Main word, repeat, Michelle, visited. Oh, visited. 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 The past of visit, Rome. visited. Rome. Visited. Rome. 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 Mm -hmm. And in this case, we say the Roman Coliseum. Coliseum. Oh my God, I cannot even say Coliseum. it. Coliseum. The Roman Coliseum. Okay, I Coliseum. visited the Roman Coliseum. Okay, and those are the questions that Carlita made. How many hours did your flight last? Did you make any stops? Okay, good. Carla, a number between one and 23 that is not 10. Um, 15. 15, Osmin Baires Lorsano. Osmin, your microphone. Excuse me, my microphone. 12. Ok. ¿Podría hacerle la pregunta en pasado a uno de sus compañeros que estuvo con usted en el grupo? Ok. Uh, for my worker, my uh, Edwin, what did you do in the last vacation? Okay. The last vacation, uh, but we we talk about the weekend. Was me. Ah, you can answer it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, last vacation. I, make make I it up. Remember. I can remember. Make it up. I'm bad to make it up. <laughs> oh, God. oh yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't make lies. No, no miento. Yes. Yo, yo no digo mentira. Okay. But we, 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 we talk about the, the last weekend. Okay. I, I, I told, I told them that I, I have to work. I had to work in the morning uh, until 11. Then I, I pick up my my kids to went to the beach even the, the the day was raining we went because my cousin invited us uh, okay did you visit uh, tunco yes we, we went to the, the tunco but uh, the, hey, to the tunco beach guys to the tunco beach <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, yes, we went to the Tunku Beach. Uh, the the tide Excuse was me, I have problem with high. my mic. Teacher, what? la marea estaba alta. Waves were high. Ah, okay. Waves were high. Uh, we just swam in the swimming pool uh, and. I we eat uh, seafood and I drink. Uh, I ate no, we ate seafood and I drank drank some beers. Uh, we returned to to San Salvador uh, at seven p.m. Because my my daughter had a, a 
birthday celebration because she she was twenty. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Estaría, estaba cumpliendo. She became she 20? became twenty two. She became old. 22. Cumplió 22 años. Uh -huh. She became 22. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then I we we returned to to the house and I I went to the the bed early because I I I drank a lot of beers. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. <laughs> questions. Okay. Everybody, questions about what Edwin just said. Make questions. <clears throat> think, think about questions. Uh, Edwin, I picked, I picked, picked. I picked. Oh, difficult. Picked. I picked up, I picked up. I picked up. I picked, I picked up my picked kids. Up. Mm -hmm. Easier. I took my kids to the beach. I took my mm. kids to the beach. I, I, I stopped. I stopped by my kids. I stopped by for my kids. No, I stopped by for my kids. I stopped by for my kids. I stopped by for my kids. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then Hey, even the day was rainy, even though the rain the day was raining, or although the day was raining, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Aunque, aunque, you can say even though, or even though. although, although, although the rain, listen, although the day was rainy, mm -hmm. yep, aunque, verdad? That's right. That's correct. Too. Okay, questions. Me. Uh, did you drive this day, Edwin? Uh, when we returned, the mother of my kids, she she drove. She drove. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Next question. Next. Shoot me. Okay. Good. Shit, Edwin. Mayra, come on. Rosalina, Gloria. Stephanie. Haven't heard you. Did you so Edwin. many hands? Be careful. I'm going to do Be careful. Rosalina, go. Okay. Did you, did you swim on the pool or in the sea? Yes. I just, we just swam. In the, in the pool because the, the waves were too high. Perfect, Rafa. Te teacher, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, only only one thing. Mm -hmm. Can I say that the high tide? Mm -hmm. I know. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. the most appropriate translation. Maria, uh -huh. tide. Uh -huh. okay. Tide. Teacher, pero pero high tide is Maria alta. Or... Yeah, the mm -hmm. tide was high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The tide was high. Is that a song or what? Yes, but Blondie. What? The tide is high. What's up? Know. What's up again? Okay. okay. Rafa. Did you eat seafood? Ooh. Yes, I. We, we eat. Uh, eight, eight. We ate. How do you say camarones, teacher? You say shrimps. Uh, uh, shrimps. We ate a uh, shrimp pizza. And we ate a pizza. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We ate a pizza, shri a shrimp pizza, a shrimp's pizza. We ate a shrimp's pizza. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, conchas. Oh, shells. Conchas? Shells cocktail. Yeah. Che oh, ah, che really? Limo? Shells. Okay. With the lemon chef. and the beers and mm -hmm. oh my and, god and, and tomato. Uh, okay. okay. And, and, uh, how yes. do you say? How do you say una cosa lleva la otra? Edwin, what do you drink? <laughs> we drink. The, the conchas. We drink. 
We drank la cholotona. <laughs> we drank with the <laughs> Okay, like, so look, look at your chat. One thing led to another and I ended up drunk. One thing led to another and I ended up drunk. Una cosa llevó a la otra y terminé borracho. <laughs> I mean, with that, that's what happens when you eat seafood, right? You eat seafood, the lemon, the, uh, right? I don't, yo no bebo, I don't drink. No, I don't, I don't drink beer. Uh, maybe Corona, one, two, but not, not beer. I don't, I don't like beer. Only liquor. Just, just <laughs> sweet, sweet things or whiskey, things like that. Uh, Volca, bolo fino. Okay, <laughs> right. Yes. Fine drunk. <laughs> fine, fine drunk. Okay, guys. Hey, great job, Edwin. Good job. Okay. okay thank you. Okay, guys. It's 9 p.m. We have to jump into the topic of your book, but first, let me do the attendance one more time. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Darwin Edgardo Ayala Leiva. Present, teacher. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander Mejiva Rivera. Sí. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. María Estela Varela Velázquez. Present. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Thank you. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Here, teacher. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present, teacher. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Fidel Coreas Pascual. Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores. Margarita Stephanie Menjibar Contreras. Present. Excellent. Ok, eh, bien, una pequeña pausa, chicos. Eh, traten de ayudarme en un sentido nada más. Eh, es nuestra última semana, so, eh, necesito que terminen hasta el módulo 4, la unidad 4, al final de esta semana, el jueves, si es posible que eso ya esté listo. El viernes terminamos, no, 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 el lunes terminamos módulo, porque el jueves no hay clase. Okay. Okay. Sí, el jueves es Father's día. Day. It's Father's Day, that's right. Father's so, Day. sí, no tenemos clase el jueves. Ok, Gloria, comprendo. Um, bien, entonces, importantísimo que cumplamos con ese requisito de llenar la plataforma. Tratemos de dejarlo listo el viernes. No, el lunes. Lunes um, uh -huh. 21, 21st. Monday 21st. Ok. Eso nada más. Let's go. So. <laughs> tan, tan, tan. Okay. Let's follow the protocol. So let's see. I'm going to write an idea on your screen. Okay. This is the main idea. Financial statement. Let's brainstorm around this idea. Financial statement. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear financial statement? Okay, to start, let's look for synonyms. Look for synonyms in your mind. Okay, synonyms of statement, financial statement. Um, 
Money. Money. Why not? Money. What else? Accounting. Rent. What? Credit. Wait. Rent. Credit. Credit. Rent. These are related words, but not synonyms. Accounting. Accounting. Okay, another related word. What else? Income. Incomes. Okay. What's the opposite? What is the antonym of income? Saving. Savings. 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 Good. Cash Savings. Flow. Cash flow. Okay. Where are my accountants? I have three accountants that I remember here. Sandra, <laughs> Rafael, Jancy. Ophelia too. Ophelia knows about accounting. And I don't remember who. Balance. Balance. Okay, balance. What? Sheet. Balance sheet. Sheet. Balance sheet. There you go. Be careful. Yeah, careful with that word. Say sheet. <laughs> Balance sheet, uh huh? Payroll. Payroll. Okay. Uh, estado de resultados is a balance sheet. Yeah. Oh, really? Sí. Okay, so balance sheet. Uh, how do, look it up? Look it up. Cute. <laughs> budget. Yeah. Budget. Cute. What? Kids? Cute. Cart. Yeah. Uh, the cot. Cart. Yeah. The cot. The cot. Uh, there's another way of saying that. There's a cash report. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? You do the uh, cashier closing or the closing at the end of the day. With the cashier, you do a closing. Okay. Incluido customer support. No. No, we're talking about money. Oh, invoice? Invoice. 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 Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Impuesto como se taxes. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Account status. Account status. Status. You mean hmm, account balances? Hmm. Okay. Account balance. status. Balance sheet. No. Balance sheet is already there. Okay. So mm -hmm. yes. We have a balance statement too. That comes from your bank. Y documento final de auditoría, como se dice Final auditing informe, documents. Informe, uh -huh. informe de auditor. Informe, informe de auditor. General Audit. balance. Income. Audit report. Expenses. Auditing, auditing reports or final reports. Okay. okay. Auditing In, reports. Income. 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 Ex, expenses. Ex, expenses. Expenses or spend okay. expenses, yes. Okay, and so on. There's a lot of terminology related to financial statements. Very good. Okay, so this is our topic today. We're going to talk about financial statements, and we are on your page. I don't remember. Wait, 30, 39, if I'm not mistaken. Give me one second. Let me send you this WhatsApp. Okay, 
have the financial statement, some ideas, right? And yes, we're on page 39. Mm -hmm. So first of all, when the next activity, uh, what are financial statements? Can you give me an idea of what are financial statements in your own words? So use your own words to describe to me what is a financial statement. Zulma, do you work in accounting? Mm, no. All right. Okay. I I work in business intelligence. Oh my God, business intelligence. Sounds interesting. Yes. Sounds really interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Accountants, come on, give me an idea. What is a financial statement in your own words? It's about the, the monetary value of all the of operations. In Spanish? Uh, es el valor monetario es de las de la wait, wait, wait. Again, is the is uh, valor monetario eh, de todas las operaciones. So it's the financial value of all that the company do. All companies do. Mm -hmm. All companies do. Okay. Let's see. It sounds a little bit complex, but that's the way it is, right? Now, by dues, understand um, what the company must pay, right? The expenses, the incomes, all uh, require transactions. What do you say, Loans. Loans. Mm -hmm. Se corta, teacher. We're here. Okay, all required transactions, I'm sorry, transactions for the company to operate. All the transactions that the company does, talking about money, required to operate. So even paying, paying the electricity bill, even paying the electricity bill, is that a financial, is that part of a financial statement? Yes. Yes. What about paying the payroll? Uh, yes. Guys, can you hear me? Can you see me? Can, yes. Yes, okay. So it's just Sandra. Yes. Sandra is having a little problem with the, her connection. Okay. So that's what we need to talk about right now. Financial statements and some banking, some transactions that you usually do. To start, let's talk about financial activities that your company do, okay? What, what do they do? What financial activities your company does? What do they do? Okay. You must have an idea. Deben de tener una idea de las transacciones financieras que realiza su empresa. De hecho, ustedes son sí. parte de la mayor transacción que realiza. Teacher. Uh -huh. We receive sí, sí. in my company. Melanie, ajá. Uh -huh. We receive my company donation income in different um, forms, forms of payment, quite credit card, deposit in bank, visit. Expenses so are. So wait, you receive donations yeah 
Uh, so you are income a in, that's your income in, yes in different uh, forms of um, payment um, target credit uh, credit cards credit cards credit cards mm -hmm. and deposit in bank bank deposits bank deposits okay Yes, a visit and um, resident and um, expenses are for pagos, no sé, ¿cómo se dice pagos? Um, payments, dues. Payments. Mm -hmm. Okay, for, like for what? For you... the expenses. Utility bills. You know what are utility bills like electricity, water, gas? Yes. yes. Utility bills. Servicios yes. básicos. Llamémosles um, los servicios. Sí, los servicios básicos de tu, de tu casa, de tu empresa. Utility bills. Okay. Yes. Okay, so all of those are expenses, right? Now at the bank. Does your company write checks? Yes. Yes, they write checks, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Generally, generally transaction is online teacher. Online transactions, yeah. To pay to pay your vendors. Only to pay the vendors with checks, with online yes. transactions. Yes, proveedores. Electronic transactions or transfers Transfers. electronic or transfer transactions online yeah okay electronic transfer electronic transfers the payroll you pay the payroll online as well okay mm -hmm. so let's practice finding sense to these statements this uh, financial statements okay Cash flow, what is a cash flow? Income statements, what are those? Equity statements in the balance sheet. What are those? Okay, so you have to match the letter with the numbers, okay? Number one, and then discuss with a partner the following ideas because I will make you questions, okay? So that's the second part. Let's do this first, and then I will bring you back. Let's do this one first. Match the, the letters with the numbers, okay? But guys, talk in your group. Hey, what is a cash flow ball? What is a cash flow ball? Oh, it's a report, I think it's something, yeah. What's your idea? You should have an idea, a general idea. No espero que hablen, eh, trivialidades sobre el dinero y cómo se maneja en la empresa y que fíjate que el año pasado facturamos no sé cuántos millones de dólares pero este año solo tres millones hemos facturado ya. no, o sea todos tenemos una idea general bastante a grosso modo de lo que es un flujo de efectivo cash flow okay, un balance financiero reporte financiero, eso es lo que estamos hablando ok, so en tu propio lenguaje expresar lo que pensas, ok, but in English, ok, let's do it, let's work. Hi. Jorge María, good evening. Good evening, Angela. Ah, ya la compartieron. Thank you. Ok. Read number one. Angela. Angel, do you ask a count? Hello? Are you a count? Are you an you, accountant? Are you an accountant? Accountant. 
accountant? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, okay. I'm not. Huh? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not. No, I'm not. That was me. I got a problem. <laughs> Number one, report of the chain maintain earnings of a company during the start period. Creo que dice informe sobre los cambios retenidos. Que hace una empresa durante un periodo indicado. Bueno, que quizás primero desciframos lo que significa las cuatro palabras, ¿verdad? Cash flow. Flujo de efectivo. De fondo. Flujo de efectivo. Ajá. Creo. Sí. Cash flow. Vamos a ver. De fondo. Vamos a ver. Como ingreso de declaraciones. Eh, estado de resultados incoming staying estado de resultados estado de resultados uh Try to understand the answers. Try to understand the answers. Core uh, area, area in administration. Where do you work? I'm sorry. Area administrative. Oh, in the administrative area. I work in administ I work in administration. Good. I work in administration. You can share your screen if you want. Now question. Why are, you so, why are you so quiet? <laughs> oh, you know what? Yes. I, I think number, I mean, I letter B is number three. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Rafa? Creo que ya me perdí. Vamos a, a... match. Oh. Match with letter A, B, C, D, and number. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Page con razón, pero nadie me detuvo con, con razón. Han de haber dicho, dicho este loco que está hablando. Sorry, sorry. 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 Por eso te he preguntado que quién era contado. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Michelita mejor se escondió. Michelita, no. No. Aquí no estoy, yo dijo. <laughs> Okay. Hey. Eh. <laughs> For me, cash flow is number three because this report on a company is coming and outcoming of cash. It's operating, investing, and financial activities. Do you agree with me? I agree with you. Do you agree with me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cash flow um, three. Okay. 
Welcome. Uh, equipment statement for me is uh, number two. Reports a company asset liabilities and earnings quality at given point in time. Ernesto. Uh, we will give you a company coming in the upcoming okay. Me for. Oh, yes. So many Me for. companies in common yeah Okay, you done? Yes. Cash flow Peter. report. Uh -huh. How do you pronounce the, the letter C? Equity. 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 Equity ah. statement. Equity. Equity. Okay. Equity statement. Um, and that's the report on the changes in retained earnings of a company during the stated period. The equity statement. Hmm. How do you call that in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Here is something equity. 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 Equity is the same in the simplest terms. Is the money shareholders have invested in the business, including all accumulated earnings. That's what I thought too, but yeah. You know. The money shareholders have invested in the business. What is equity? Is the same as the money shareholders have invested in the business? think that being accounting is not <laughs> not easy. <laughs> I, I just hate it. I hated it. Yeah, I hated yeah, it too. I didn't I like it. it. <laughs> I didn't like it, but you know, yeah, it's all, good to know a little bit. Yes, yes. All the time I save at work. I know about inventories. I don't know about financial <laughs> it's good it's good to have someone explaining yes you. like betty yes. La, like betty la fea 
<laughs> she she was very smart. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's just wait 20 seconds. Man, you gotta start thinking as a business owner in this module, starting this module, you have to think as business owners. So there's still a little bit more. Okay, so let's see what were the, the results of your findings. What are your findings on this exercise? Um, so what should be um, a cash flow? What is a cash flow? What's the function of a cash flow? Number three. Number three is cash flow? Yes. Do we all agree? Does anybody disagree? Does anybody yes. disagree? You disagree? Yes. What's A then? I'm sorry, do you agree or disagree? So, so, teacher. So, so? I agree. I'm agree. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Why do you sort of Agree. Uh -huh. But uh, the concept is similar to the other numbers. But. In my case, but uh, in, in my case, I don't know the technical Vocabulary. vocabulary, vocabulary, good. Okay. But you consider that the concepts are too vague, too vague. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's vague, like vagos. Um, concepts are too vague. Too vague, uh, too raw, too raw. We could use R A W. Okay, okay, but. I think that it, there are two words uh, that are the key in that in that uh, description. Description, incoming and not coming. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think. I remember that this is in general terms, right? Reports on yes. a on a company's incoming and outcome outcoming of okay. cash. It's operating. It's operating, investing and financing activities. Cash okay. is a, a, a word key, cash. It's a keyword. Keyword. It's a okay. keyword, cash. That's right. Let's see. Oh, so what will be letter B? Number four. Number four. Do we all agree? Yes. Yes. Okay, does anybody disagree? Repeat, does anybody disagree? Anybody, anybody, anybody disagree? Do we all agree? Do we all agree? Do we all agree? Does anybody disagree? Okay. So summarizes our company's incomes 
expenses and profits over a period of time. Income statements, okay? What's equity statement? Equity statement, repeat, equity statement. Equity statement. Equity statement. Equity statement. What's the meaning? Equity statement? Yes. Is, um, I forgot. Oh my God. What was the meaning? Estado de patrimonio. Estado de patrimonio. Estado de patrimonio. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's the word. Um, ¿Qué es lo que se dividen al final del año los... Um, Como accionistas. Como utilidades. Las utilidades. Ajá. Thank you, the profit. Porque lo traducen como the value of the shares issued by a company. The value of the share issued of by a company. Of the shares issued by a company. Equity, equity. Only equity. the word equity. 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 Uh -huh. Equity. Uh -huh. Equity. Otra palabra. Dividendos se van a dividir, no, se van a repartir los dividendos. Los dividendos. Ajá. dividendos. Se van a repartir los dividendos. Conozco a alguien que tiene 20 años de trabajar en la misma empresa, a tal punto que cada año se dividen, no, se reparten los dividendos los accionistas y de hecho le dan algo ahí, a pesar de que no es accionista, pero ya es un activo fijo, le digo. <ríe> Come on, 20 años de trabajar en una empresa. Like, what? Ok. Cash flow. We got it, income statements. We got it, equity statements. Then what is it? One or two? One. Number one. Okay. Then I follow one. you. And so this is D. Okay, yes. this is D. Okay, let's see. So an equity statement reports on the changes in retained earnings of a company during the stated period. Again, uh, let's go one by one. So a cash flow, a cash flow reports on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash. It's operating, investing and financing activities. Income statements summarizes, summarizes a company's incomes expenses and profits over a period of time over a period of time period of time c equity statement reports on the changes in retained earnings of a company during the stated period during the stated period and last one a balance sheet a balance sheet reports a company's assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a, at, a, at a given point in time. Liabilities, liabilities. What is liabilities? Castigo. Liabilities. Castigo, cuentas por Pasivo. pagar. Ah, okay, pasivo, I'm sorry, yeah, Pasivo. liabilities, that's right. Esas son las cuentas por pagar, no? Sí. Liabilities, okay. And assets? And activos. Activos? Activos. Okay, what are the fixed assets? Mm. I think. Fixed. Los activos fijos. Mm -hmm. Activos fijos. Activos fijos. Fixed assets. Mm -hmm. Fixed. Fixed like, yeah, the verb. Mm -hmm. yes, the verb. Fixed assets. They have fluctuating assets, fixed mm. assets. Okay, liabilities, quality. Okay, questions? Questions? Rafael is going to answer any accounting question you may have. Ah, oh, Gloria, I'm sorry to hear that. Ok, si sí, sí, les está fallando el internet a varios, eh, yo comprendo, traten de estar acá con nosotros, ok, aunque pues para que queden los minutos ahí grabados, luego pueden ver el video también, recuerden, eh. Sí, de momento si es necesario que se, que se desconecten bien urgente, pues ni modo, pero sí, 
Traten de estar acá con nosotros, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. So I guess there are no questions, right? Ok. Let's move on to the next activity. Uh, on the next activity, you have to discuss. And this is very important. Listen, discuss with a partner the following ideas. Share your opinion and give reasons. Ok, chicos. Eh, les decía en el módulo anterior, al principio de este módulo, ya llegamos a la etapa en la que tú tenés que soltarte. Salir ya de la burbujita del no voy a hablar, que me da pena, que no puedo, no. Vas a salir en este módulo, esta semana, de esa burbujita y empezar a soltar la lengua que te equivoques. ¿Por qué? Porque ya llegamos al punto en el que tú tenés que dar tu opinión. Ya no se trata de ir leyendo conversaciones, de ir entendiendo la gramática paso a paso. Ahora ya, todo lo que estudié antes, lo, si me apliqué, pues me va a servir ahorita porque tengo que expresar mis ideas, que no las voy a encontrar escritas en un libro, mis ideas, o sí. No. Difícilmente, entonces, es algo que pensé, es como Einstein, por ejemplo. En mi caso, yo cada vez que leo un, leo un libro de Einstein, es como, ay, sí, que ya había pensado en esto. <risa> ¿Y de dónde? No, no tiene lógica eso. Entonces, ojo, mucho, muy crítico tu manera de pensar. Aquí en donde sí necesito que te volvas todólogo, ¿eh? Volvete todólogo. Por primera vez lo he escuchado de alguien, probablemente. <risa> Siempre te dicen, no sos todólogo, pues ahora te vas a volver todólogo, lo sabes todo, todo, ¿ok? Inventa, sé creativo, ¿ok? Let's try it. It's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. It's not so important to know about the incomes, ¿ok? And outcomes a company has. What do you think? Yes, it's important to know about the comments and, and an outcome. And outcomes. Because I need, I need um, to know the real situation for the company. Excellent. We need to know where we are standing. We need to know where we're standing. We need to know where we're standing. En buen salvadoreño, tenemos que saber dónde estamos parados. Right? We need Andy, to know where we're standing. Oh, sorry. Thank you. No sé para criticar. Okay. We need to know where we're standing. Perfect. No, no gracias, gracias. We need to know where we're standing. That's true. I like it, Marisela. Ven, ese es así. Entonces, ¿es ¿por qué te digo que es, es muy importante que tú ya te expreses? Porque vas a llegar a intermedio y te vas a encontrar muchísimo en este programa con este tipo de ejercicio que te hace pensar. ¿Cómo? Pues te da una statement, te da una oración para que discutas con tus compañeros. O sea, quiero que entendas una cosa. El libro está diseñado, eh, o más bien el programa fue intentado, el diseño, en relación a la pirámide de, de Maslow, les iba a decir, pero no es la de Maslow, pero sí. La pirámide um, de posiciones, ¿no? La cadena de mandos de una empresa. Poco a poco te irás estando dando cuenta. Ahorita empezamos conociéndonos, ¿no? Vamos pasando por esto, lo otro, compras, servicio al cliente, ok. Ahora empezamos a ver administración, contabilidad. Vemos recursos humanos, ok. Uh, vas a ver más adelante también otros conceptos de, de la línea de producción, de management, y, o sea, mi punto es este, imagínate, vas a llegar avanzado a hablar sobre proyecciones, eh, proyecciones de efectivo, proyecciones de, de desarrollo de personal, estrategias de desarrollo de personal, vas a empezar a ver management, ¿ok?, y, y bueno, tenés que ser muy creativo. Te pinto un ejemplo. Hay un tema en intermedio 6 que habla sobre, sobre la rotación del personal y el desarrollo en la preparación, o sea, el desarrollo académico dentro de la empresa. Ay, City, no sé qué se llama la, el programa. Pero fue una idea traída de, de, de Europa y se adaptó al programa. 
hay mucho estudio sobre esto, que si puedes desarrollar profesionalmente lo que ustedes están haciendo, puedes desarrollar profesionalmente tus empleados, pues la ambigüedad te dirá que no, porque se van a ir, ¿no? ¿Sí o no? <ríe> Alguien que ya habla inglés y yo le estoy pagando 400 dólares, hey, es lógico, va a pensar irse, pero y si le doy oportunidades dentro del trabajo, o sea, es una cadena de pensamiento y tú tenés que desarrollar eso en la clase so, te va a forzar este programa a salir de tu área de confort y empezar a desarrollar ideas, imagínate qué bonito ¿eh? ok so, we have 10 minutes 10 minutes to discuss right now with your classmates, así como lo acabo de hacer con María Estela, ya dio su concepto, su idea, por qué es importante, por qué no es importante, si es importante o no, ok? So, we only have 10 minutes, make sure you discuss points two and three with your classmates, ok? Yes! Yes, teacher. Come on, guys, let's, let's do it. Try, try, try. But I'm here. Okay. Okay, Rafael. Alguien podría compartir su pantalla. Creo que no es necesario ahorita compartir la pantalla. ¿Puede alguien tirar la idea al aire ahorita? La segunda idea dice, el año pasado una el dueño de una compañía despidió mucho personal, muchas personas. El dueño llevó a cabo tales acciones para salvar a la compañía. Hmm. Ok, for you... Um... are agree this action for example in the how do you say pandemia during the pandemic during the pandemic a lot of company companies do this action took these actions yes or performed and these actions very good something something in something case Some um, cases. Some case um, is um, to. Como, how do you say hasta cierto punto? Up to certain point. Up to certain point. It is. Was was comprehensible. Compreh um, it was understandable. Comprehensible. Comprensible? Understandable. Understandable. But a lot of company um, only uh, do it. Just did it. Como, como digo, aprovecharse? Took advantage. Took advantage. advantage. Took, took advantage. Of the situation. The situation. Of the situation. Perfect. Yes. Okay. What do you think, Maira? Uh, we just. We just ask. Uh, we just ask. The things that we need to, to develop the project, but we don't know if the company has cash or has the credit 
together the product. So we have this is we, we are we are in, in a difficult moment because we can uh, advance up. Move on. We can move on because we don't have the materials of time. So okay. we, we don't know uh, where is the incomes because we for our teacher for our achieve achieve we achieve every every month at, at for millennium but we don't know what is the money when they pay okay mm -hmm. hey look at number two last year where are you are you on number one right now yes one. okay look at number two last year a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. Dice, el año pasado una el dueño de una compañía despidió a muchas personas. El dueño llevó a cabo tales acciones para salvar la compañía. What do you think? What do you think, Angela? Floor. Um. Is that okay? Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I think, think. I think. Um. It's not okay. Depending. <laughs> it depends. Uh -huh. Depends. Uh, of how critical is the situation? Is, it, is the situation about um, of the company? Um. Um. Bueno, <laughs> last year uh, because the, of COVID, because, because of COVID, okay, okay, the COVID in 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 empresa, how many days they left in a sin hmm? actividad? They run out of work. They run out of work. They run out. Out of work. I was work um, for in quarantine. <laughs> During the quarantine. During the quarantine um, for COVID and um, eh, muchas cabrías a lot many many many. Eh, Many companies is were closed. Uh -huh. Many companies were, were closed. Were closed. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> Good. What's your opinion? Yes, Carla Flor. Come on. Hey. Um, for, um, in my case, I think that was a difficult decision because I imagine that was the last year in a, that for COVID many companies was where uh, were take these decisions were taking these decisions mm -hmm. were taking this decision because can be invest or spend. Si es obligatorio que todo verifique su ganancia. Si es, ¿cómo? Es importante. Everybody? 
Well, let me check. Yes, everybody to check on his, her profits, profits to see how much can be invest, invest, invested, invested, or spent. Es mandatorio que todos chequen sus, su, o sea, su de él o su de ella, ganancias. Ganancias. Uh -huh. Para ver cuánto dinero puede ser invertido o gastado. In other words, es importante que tú lleves un flujo de efectivo mes a mes. True yes. or wrong. O daily. O daily. Presupuesto. Yes. Yes. Presupuesto. Yes. Uh, a budget. Yeah. Ajá, presupuesto. Budget. Ya, yeah. eh, pero sería un cash flow. O sea, cuántos, cuántos ingresos tienes o vas a tener si es proyectado y cuánto vas a gastar. Ok, so do you think it's necessary? Yes. 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 And again, and again, as Maria Estela said, to know where you're standing, right? To yes. know where you're standing. That's right. So next month, no pupusas because no money. <laughs> okay, let's go back. It's almost there. Okay. Of greasing. Sleeping, teacher. No, I'm watching my baby girl. Mm -hmm. I'm watching my girlfriend. Mm. She's a mm? taking, she's taking care of you. Taking care. She's taking my view. Yes, good. <laughs> she's stealing, she's stealing my view. <laughs> Oh, come on. Okay. Where are the others? Three, two, one. What are you eating? I need to know. Every day you're eating something. What is that? Me? Yes. Is that jelly? No, it's a lemonade. lemonade? A lemonade? A lemonade? Oh, yes. With a spoon? No, with a frozen lemonade. <laughs> no. No? Vodka? No. no. <laughs> we drink with so why, why, why with a smoothie? Spoon? Smoothie. Huh? No. Yeah, and no. why with a spoon? <laughs> why with a spoon? Uh -huh. Why ah, with a spoon? Because, because no, because uh, I like to eat the pepper. Oh, the pearls, the little um, pearls on lemons. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. We got a watery, watery mouth. Watery okay. mouth. Yeah. Mayra. How do you say dientes templados? Mayra, why is she so weird? <laughs> weird. Why is she so weird? <laughs> That's the way, that's the way she, she was born that way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's close the class. The normal girl. That's right. Okay. Aquí se acabó la clase, señores. Hey, hey, está chido ese tema. Vamos a desarrollarlo un poco más mañana. Piensen, ok. Vamos a abrir la clase hablando en serio. Tenemos esos cuatro temas de tres temas de discusión. Um, ok, en especial el de si es conveniente o no des despedir empleados durante el tiempo de crisis. Mm, think about it, ok. So, let's do the attendance. Y hoy se queda conmigo solo diez minutos. Ángela, um, please. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Oh, bueno, se pudo tuvo que juntarse probablemente. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Good night. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. Thank you. No good night. No, um, no good night. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present, teacher. 
Thank you. Good night, Darwin. Edgardo Ayala Leiva. Good night. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Flor de María Carballo Garte. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Giovanni Alexandre Mengiba Rivera. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. María Estela Varela Velázquez. Present. Good night. Good night. María Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Mayra. Ay, Present. Mayra Melanie. Sorry. Bye. Nelson Edgardo Bye. Sánchez Ramírez. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Nelson. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Good teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Good teacher. Good night. Good night. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here. Good night. Good night. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Roselena Salgado de Serrano, my God. Present. Good night. Thank good you. Night. Good night. Good night, Sandra. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good night. Good night. Selma Rosaura López García. Present. Thank you. Fidel, Fidel Coraz Pascual. Present. Good night. Good night, Fidel. Adrián Stephanie Martínez Flores. She's not here, I think. Margarita Stephanie Menjibar Contreras. Present, teacher. Ya llegando, ok. Sí. Ay, no venía desde Sonsonate. Oh, my God. Ok, good night. Good night. No, sí. Digo, hoy sí, ya. Puedo ir a descansar. Bye, Flor. Good night. Ok. Hello, Ángela. ¿Cómo está? Hello, teacher. Uh, good. <laughs> Great. Ok. Great. Tenemos 10 minutos. Necesito que me conteste primero que nada qué hemos estado haciendo desde la última vez que nos reunimos para mejorar nuestro inglés. Porque sí, la he notado como más activa en la clase, más participativa, con más ganas de hablar y todo. So, ¿qué está haciendo? Uh, pues, eh, tratando de memorizar o de saber más verbos. Ah, en inglés tengo que contestar. <risa> eh, de aprender como para tener más vocabulario, porque eso es lo que, lo que necesito, saber eh, cómo pensar en inglés, entender lo que dicen los compañeros. Y de hecho, creo que logro entenderles a veces, pero tengo que estar muy concentrada para saber... <risa> Y entender eso es bien importante. Porque Correcto. Si no, este, y yo siento que en el caso con usted, pues, por su forma de hablar, de explicar, de gesticular, es bien importante de saber de, la, de las palabras porque muchas veces, um, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Si no veo la, cómo expresar, decir bien una palabra, es bien difícil que yo la Digamos, que lo digamos, adapte. A que su... lo adapte, cabal. Entonces, y lo puedo decir como bien mal, muy mal, precisamente porque, porque a veces uno no ve esas, eh, el hecho de gesticular, es que, que usted lo haga, a mí me ha ayudado y mucho. Fíjese que sí, yo estoy experimentando bastante con eso porque quiero desarrollar algo. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. es, ajá, sí, porque he notado que uh -huh. somos más de vista que de oído los humanos. Y eso está comprobadísimo. Las, las cinco inteligencias que tenemos, supuestamente, no sé si se acuerda de eso, ¿verdad? la musical, la... Ay, cómo era lo demás. Ya, ahorita no tengo cerebro. Pero hay cinco inteligencias, ¿no? Eh, numeral, musical, lingüística y todas esas. Entonces, la, la que más se nos da es la del arte. Y, y esto de, de movernos por imágenes. O sea, si lo veo, lo puedo hacer. Aprendo viendo. A mí me pasa eso porque, por ejemplo, quizás no es lo mismo que esté escuchando hablar como que esté viendo, viendo y escuchando a la vez para, para saber. Sí, para y ha sido, ha sido como el gran error históricamente en los cursos de inglés, o de, bueno, en mi experiencia en los cursos de inglés, de ver que, que se ha creído que porque el oído es, y sí es cierto, ¿no? que el oído uh -huh. es hasta cierto punto la, la boca de un uh -huh. idioma. Uh -huh. y, y pues por aquí comemos y aquí se reproduce lo que escuchamos, pero también vemos que desde pequeños se nos acercaba a nuestra mamá y le mirábamos la boca para ver cómo hacía, ¿no? 
Así es. Es muy interesante ese tema. Entonces sí le ha ayudado. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Sí. Ok. Sí. De hecho, siento yo que, bueno, no solo, digamos, si yo quiero entender bien todo, o sea, en una reunión, por ejemplo, en español, voy a decirlo, yo siempre veo a la persona cuando está hablando. Eh, eh, para mí es bien importante hacerlo porque siento que si solo la estoy escuchando como que mi cerebro no capta todo. Es que se va de lado el cerebro, se desvía Ajá. el tema. Y es normal. Y... Ajá, y entonces yo, para mí es bien importante ver a la persona para, para que todo eh, capte bien. Entonces, es que concentrarse es eso, es callar a la loca de la casa. <risa> sí, no le pasa cuando se va a acostar y entre mayor está uno es peor. Hay gente que se acuesta y hasta el día siguiente abre los ojos, o sea, no, no, no piensan ni nada. Pero la mayoría de seres humanos nos acostamos y empezamos a darle vuelta a lo que hicimos, que nuestra infancia, recordar. Y, y entonces no se calla. Y lo mismo pasa durante el día, ahí anda. Porque nuestro cerebro es más inteligente que nosotros. Hay miles de procesos que están pasando aquí. Mientras que usted está hablando conmigo, está Ajá. pensando qué va a hacer después, está viendo mi contorno, que la guitarra, que la silla, que el color de la camisa, y no se da cuenta. ¿Sí? Puede ser que esté muy concentrada en mi voz o me está viendo el rostro o algo, pero su cerebro sigue pensando en muchas cosas, y más el cerebro de las mujeres, comprobadísimo. Entonces, <risa> es difícil, es difícil este, poder concentrarse en una sola cosa, y el que lo logra, logra mucho, ¿eh? logra mm. mucho. A ver, eh, nos vamos a concentrar en algo, yo les he estado dejando una tarea, que es como una tarea a la semana, Bien uh -huh. sencillo, ya vimos varios tiempos gramaticales. Uh -huh. Entonces, efectúo este proceso. Elijo un tiempo que yo quiero ocupar de los que ya vimos, el futuro, el presente simple, el pasado simple, lo que más me cueste si es posible. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Y me hago una pregunta, a ver, ¿qué tiempo gramatical siente que ha sido como el talón de Aquiles para usted en, este, en estos cuatro módulos? Quizás el, 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 eh, las oraciones con... Cuando se usa el pasado. Cuando se usa el pasado. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces, me hago, hago lo que hice ahora. Me hago una uh -huh. pregunta abierta y me digo, por ejemplo, mm, What did you do last weekend? Por ejemplo. Vengo, uh -huh. tomo la pregunta, le escribo, What did you do last weekend? Ok. Le escribo en un cuaderno, uh -huh. en una hoja en blanco. Uh -huh. Y como ya sé que para contestar estas preguntas voy a hacer una, un desglose de ideas en positivo, tal vez en negativo, si quiero contrastar, ¿no? Y digo, oh, last weekend I woke up early. Veo el ejemplo que hizo el teacher ahora, va. Uh -huh. Me tomo la idea. Lo escribo en español. ¿Por qué en español, teacher? Sí, pues sí, tenemos que hablar en inglés. Tranquilos. Vamos a hablar en español primero y lo vamos a escribir. Porque si yo le digo a usted, ¿qué hizo el fin de semana pasado en inglés? O sea, me va a querer decir en futuro, en presente, entonces nos saltamos del tiempo gramatical en español, más que todos los adultos. Uh -huh. Usualmente pensamos, cuando nos preguntan en pasado, pensamos en futuro o en presente. Entonces, lo escribo, ¿ok? El fin de semana pasado fui, pero hoy, y ya me pasé ahora. Ah, no, 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 eso no, ok. Y sigo en pasado, ¿eh? Uh -huh. Ya tengo unas 10 líneas, digamos, ya lo tengo escrito en español. Ahora trabajo en retarme a mí mismo pasar eso a inglés. ¿Ok? Me equivoqué en algo, lo voy a llevar al traductor, no sé una palabra, la llevo al traductor, la traigo, ok, eso es. Lo terminé de escribir, se lo mando al teacher, me tomo una foto a la hojita, se lo mando al teacher, el teacher me manda de regreso su corregido y me manda un audio el teacher para que yo empiece a repetir, a repetir, a repetir. Ok, una vez ya tenga confianza, me grabo y le doy play al audio del teacher, le doy play al audio mío. Uy, no, qué feo, ¿sí? lo voy a volver a hacer. Empiezo a repetir, repetir, repetir. Ya siento más confianza, ok. Me grabo, ya voy llegando. Y esto se llama, Ángela, autocorrección. Okay. Que es una de las mayores, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, habilidades, las mayores habilidades del cerebro. Tienen la capacidad de criticar hasta decir ya no. Okay. Y si es a otros, peor aún. Sí. Pero 
llegar a tener la habilidad de criticarse a uno mismo es un gran, es un gran un valor. Gran uh -huh. No, es un gran valor agregado que una persona puede tener. Imagínese si usted se critica todas las acciones que lleva a cabo en un día. Lo hago. Ok. Uh, ¿Y las corrige? Trato. Ese es el punto, ¿no? Ajá. Porque... Cristianos, no cristianos, lo que sea. Pero si usted logra tener esa capacidad de fijarse en lo que hace, cada movimiento, cada manera de hablar o expresarse ante alguien o con alguien, mmm, eso ayuda muchísimo a formar carácter. Pues ahora en el idioma, imagínense, hey, pero ya tengo un patrón. Lo que estoy escuchando lo puedo comparar con mi voz. Uh -huh. Ah, hey, ¿y qué palabra era esa? Ah, esta palabra. A ver, otra vez, ya puedo retroceder, ¿sí? Entonces, ese ejercicio es valiosísimo. Ya tengo todo bien, creo que lo hice lo mejor que pude y wow. Hoy sí, teacher, mire, se lo mando una vez al teacher. Hey. Tal vez el teacher me saca algo todavía, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? ¿Le parece? Me parece. De hecho, muchas gracias porque, como le digo, o sea, siento que me ha ayudado bastante el, eso, el hecho de, de, de que usted no repite las palabras como, como pronunciarlas. Me ha ayudado bastante porque de repente tal vez está corrigiendo a alguien, pero también yo estoy... Yo estoy eh, repitiendo para ayudarme uh -huh. porque para uno que no, no ha estudiado, digamos de hecho yo no, no, no había recibido una clase de inglés y, y cuando estudié, estudié de noche <risa> entonces no, es mentira se, que graduó, iba... se graduó en la nocturna de bachillerato ¿cómo? de bachillerato, así es desde mucha tercer... honra <risa> de, desde que... tercer ciclo entonces este wow. Tercer ciclo, y yo siento que, que no, lo, no es lo mismo en la noche que en el día. Y obviamente que el inglés, eso era por último, ¿verdad? Apenas uno, la, las sí, materias básicas. En nuestro tiempo no Ajá. le daban importancia a las materias eh, agregadas. Ajá. Muchas cosas, es cierto. Bueno, Así. pero eso me dice mucho. Eso dice que usted sí valora lo que está aprendiendo. Así. Eso es algo bueno. Así que yo quiero verme un día pudiéndole hablar fluido en inglés pensando... Así, así que a veces me siento, me siento como, uh, no, no lo voy a lograr, pero no, yo no soy cobarde, yo tengo que seguir, tengo que seguir, así que ahí voy. Cuando nos volvamos a encontrar, Ángela, y le diga, how are you, Ángela? No, yo me voy a contestar muy joven. Solo Dios sabe, Ángela. Contesta bueno, muy, muy joven, muy joven. Hagamos eso. Sí, Ajá, yo sé que usted sí. puede y quiere mejorar, entonces inténtelo, mándeme Muchas eso, si, si lo desea yo le voy a ayudar, oye. Gracias, oye, okay, okay, estamos a la hora. Me lo bendiga y... Igualmente, bendiciones. Gracias, Good night, Ángela. Bye, Good bye. Good night, teacher. bye.